AWS launched support for Kubernetes 1.22 for Amazon EKS clusters in April 2022. Rafik customers can now provision EKS clusters based on Kubernetes 1.22 and perform in-place upgrades of their existing EKS clusters to Kubernetes 1.22. In this demo, we will see the user experience for ops personnel when they perform in-place upgrades of their EKS clusters to Kubernetes 1.22. The demo EKS upgrade EKS cluster is currently based on Kubernetes 1.21 and has two worker nodes in a managed node group. The administrator is notified that there's a new Kubernetes version available and that they can perform an in-place upgrade of the EKS cluster and the node groups to Kubernetes 1.22. When the upgrade is initiated, Rafe performs a number of steps in a logical sequence. The first step is a pre-flight check where a number of tests are performed to verify that the cluster is in a state where the upgrade can be safely performed. Once this step is completed, the second step is to upgrade the AWS managed Kubernetes control plane to the latest version of Kubernetes 1.22. Once this step is completed, the third step is to perform a rolling update of critical add-ons such as the AWS CNI, etc., in the Kubernetes cluster to a version supported by Kubernetes 1.22. Once this step is completed, the fourth step is to upgrade the worker nodes in the associated EKS node groups to Kubernetes 1.22. Once this step is completed, Rafe performs the final step of verifying that all resources operational on the cluster are still functional and that there was not an inadvertent regression. Kubernetes administrators can also view the upgrade history associated with the EKS cluster as it is kept current and up to date. As you can see from the console and the zero trust kubectl commands that our EKS cluster has been successfully upgraded in place from Kubernetes 1.21 to version 1.22. Thank you for watching.